And what's up, YouTube? I uh, just got this new soldering station and I wanted to do a quick review of it. This is the. Uh, oh. Hens kit T12 soldering station. Um, there's hundreds of different brands of the same thing, really. Um, this is a uh, uses T12 or T15 style tips that slide in. These are fantastic because it has the it has the heating element and the tip all in one and the heating element is real close to the very end so um, it gets the heat where you need it and then the wand uh, has a little I don't know if you can hear that rattle it's a little switch in there a little motion switch so it knows if you've got it sitting in the holder or if you're using it and, and what it can do is when you got it sitting in the holder it'll actually turn down the power to uh, uh, or it'll turn down the turn down the power which it, in effect they turn down the uh, the the temperature that they're uh, detecting this tip is at so the tip has a uh, thermal sensor in it. Uh, what that'll do is extend the life of course of your of your tip. It's not just going to sit there in the, uh, the holder burning up while you're preparing your uh, your soldering job. Um, this one is just the digital display. It doesn't have the OLED display that a lot of them have. The OLED well, OLED display has a bunch more information and, and a lot of more tweakable settings. Personally, I don't care for, uh, I don't really care about that. I just want it to, you know, work properly and make it to where I can adjust it to whatever temperature that I want it to be at. Uh, as a result, you know, this thing is like, tw oops, this thing is like 20 bucks on Amazon. I mean, 20 dollars and if you really do want the OLED display you can find them on like AliExpress or whatnot and you could open it up remove this board that's behind there and put I think that you can put the OLED display board in there if you want and, and they're like 10 bucks or something like that so the ones that are going uh, for uh, going on Amazon for the OLED display model they're like 60, 70, 80. I think I've seen some that were $90. So, huge difference in, in, in cost. <clears throat> now, this one came with, let's see, two tips. If I can find the other one. Yeah. So, it came with the uh, just the regular uh, pin tip. And this one is kind of a like a blade tip. Uh, this one's actually pretty nice. I've, I've been working with this one and it does a pretty darn good job. But two tips, the unit, a bolt-on uh, solder stand. I will say that uh, the holes are a little bit too big so you kinda gotta get a little offset to to get the uh, screws to hold that on or I'm probably gonna find some washers. Came with a a whole nother stand um, and your brass uh, cleaner sponge thingy and uh, for 20 bucks shipped next day at your door crazy anyways let's uh let's crank it up and it just heats up stupid fast so let's turn it on Heating up.
Bam, it's done. It's up to temperature. It is up to temperature. So, and uh, of course that solder is stripping off that I had on there to protect the tip. And uh, let's do a couple of solder, uh, let's do a couple of joints with it. Let's tin that, uh, those wires right there. Let's see how long this works. Actually, hold on. Let me get the helping hands out. There we go. Now, here's the thing that I want to uh, say is, you know, everybody says you don't apply the solder to the tip. You apply, you apply the tip to the part and you heat the part and then you apply the solder to that part, which is pretty much correct. But the thing is, is that if your tip is dry and you put it on the part, it's going to have a hard time... Um, transferring the heat to the part. See, I could sit here for quite some time. That's just not going to, it's just not, it'll eventually work, but it's going to take forever. And then, you know, you, you run the r higher risk of melting stuff or damaging something. So what I always do is I, I do a little dab to wet it. And then when you stick it on the part, it's going to transfer the heat to it. And then you can, um, Let's wait a little bit more. There you go. See, now it's taking it. Oh. So, not bad at all. I got the whole thing, I can't really see. Yeah, that's good enough. Now, let's uh, ooh, let's focus. There we go. Let's see if we can't get some solder on these tabs. Trying to look through my viewfinder and do this at the same time. Yeah, no problem at all. It's this thing's just for twenty bucks. is a it's a hey, beast. Dad. Hey, bud. Let's get some on over here. Yeah, easy, quick. And so if I set it, set it down in their holder for a little bit, it'll actually start beeping and uh, indicating that it's going into sleep mode, I guess. I don't know why this thing is not focusing. There we go. See how long it takes to sleep. Well, one that's going to take its time to sleep. Um, oh yeah, by the way, it comes with this ESD cable, which is a cool feature. It actually has a little jack in the back that it plugs into, and then that uh, makes it ESD safe. I'm guessing that it grounds the uh, case and then ultimately, maybe the handle, maybe the tip, I'm not sure. But, there you go. Yep, 20 bucks. Uh, 
pretty solid soldering station. How long will it last? I don't know. But um, I'm digging it so far. Anyways, see you guys next time.